What's that? How you doing, man? What's going on with it, fam? Cool, man. Welcome to the spot, man. Welcome yes, to the sir. studio. Yes, sir. Yes, Welcome sir. to the session. Uh, this is another episode of Coming From Where I'm From. You dig? Um, I sit down with a lot of the artists and we just jib, find out where y'all at, what y'all got going on, what y'all got coming, get us some balls from y'all, and then we just keep it pushing. We don't really, you know what I'm saying, overdo it, but we do just enough for the people to get what they want and know who they tuning into and what they be looking for. You know? right, so right. I get to bring them you, you know what I'm saying? Like you one of the hidden gems that people may not know about, you know what I'm saying? I right. stumbled up on you because you was a cameraman at rap. Right, you know right, right. I stumbled up on you, you know, we stumbled up on the plane, how we stumbled up on and beside the video work we do, you also do music too. Right. So won't you tell them a little bit about the music you do and what's going on with you? Yeah, for those who don't know me, my name is uh, Raphael Mecca Medina. Uh, I own the Hip Hop's itinerary, Medina Moments. I'm a cameraman, but I also rap as well. Um, been doing the music before I was a cameraman, though. The cameraman came after the music, to be honest. And I mean, all that, all that stemmed from the fact that I just... I paid somebody to do a video for me years ago. I could probably say about maybe 2010. Paid a nigga to do a music video for me. And it didn't come out to my liking. The way you were looking for. Yeah, it didn't come out to what I was looking for, for the money that I paid for. And then one guy was like, man, the money you paid for, nigga, you can go get the can of T2I for that price. And shoot it yourself. And shoot it yourself. So, I mean, I wound up going and get the can of T2I. Shout out to Mike Lee. So and uh, OG, OG E9 Tonto, because he was working with Mike Lee at the time, and that's the one who, uh, who told me about the T2I Canon. And I mean, that was back in 2010, but today we're working with the Sonys and, okay. you know, gimbals and things of that nature, just okay. experimenting with different little cameras and ideas of many sorts. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah nah, I, I see your vision because I told you one of my visions earlier and you told me how to pull it off, how we going to pull it off. Right. So I definitely, you definitely dope at what you do. Um, so is the camera something that you wanted to do after you started it? Why are you still doing it? Are you doing it for the money? Are you doing it because you love it? Um, you always be a cameraman that rap? Like, what's the... So, to be honest with you, like... It's all a part of the art form. Definitely. You know, like, 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 uh, when you go to, uh, and the best way to describe it, right? You might go to a karate instructor, but he might not just know karate, he might know jujitsu, you know, taekwondo, kung fu. You know what I'm saying? Different he know off, different ways of the off form. He know different ways of the off form. So that's how I take my music. That's how I take my production. That's how I take my videography, my photography. Like I look at it like it's all the, the even the recording, the engineering, all that is a part of the art form to express who you are as an artist and who you are to captivate like your 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 crowd, your, your fan audience. base. Yeah, you like how you create your fan base. And I mean, like, um, I'm just blessed to be able to actually pick up a camera and have those visions to be able to pull it to, off. to do it. And then even even more so have the willpower to want to do it and pull it off to the degree and caliber that I do. Pull it off, yeah, because your, your work dope. Everybody who sees what you've been doing, give us love. Your work definitely dope. Yeah, um, man. So, for cameramen who want to work with you, right? Yeah. And shoot for you. What's your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's, what's, what's your... That criteria? Definitely. Um, man, we all could, each one teach one, we all could learn something from each other. Like, that's first and foremost. Like, you might be able to show me something that I don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and take that knowledge and I might show you something as well as you may not know. I hope you, I hope you soak in that knowledge as well. Um, like, and I may not ever get it twisted. Like, uh, if somebody was to come out and work with me. You with it. You know, I'm with it. I'm all about, like, uh, expanding the brand. Yeah. Um, I thought I about having a few apprentices at one point in time, but I mean, like, you know, the hardest thing is uh, finding somebody that want to work as hard, just as hard as you, you do. Work. Right. Yeah, and and the question was from a perspective of the reason that that made you a cameraman. 
So that's why I was saying what criteria did a cameraman need because obviously the first person who you mess with ain't meet that criteria because he yeah. made you pick the camera. So yeah. just for up and coming cameramen who may want to work with you, like what's something basic that they need to know that you have to be able to do this at least to even say you about to come shoot some music that I'm a part of. You know, it could be like a certain camera you need to have. It could nah, be nah. Look, and you know, that's and all right. That's another or thing. Or editing, I, a, you know. Right. So I mean, I, I look. I'm no. I'm never no gatekeep gatekeeper amongst anything. So, um, once again, like I said, it's all about like learning. Nowadays, you know, like truth be told, and I tell this to everybody, you can shoot videos on a cell phone. Like it's now it's not even about like the camera nowadays. It's your, it's your vision. You know, if you got any kind of camera in your hand and you see what you want behind that camera, you just create it with that camera. I mean sometimes it may be hard, sometimes it may be easy. You know, there's a couple of people that I watched on YouTube that show you different videos of how you can record yourself and make it look cinematic. Um I just encourage anybody, don't ever, don't, don't, look, don't ever be discouraged and say, man, I don't have the camera. And then if you paid, if you paid a thousand dollars for this phone, this iPhone, this Apple, you got a camera, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, yeah, because you, <laughs> you ain't paid for the, to talk yeah. to somebody, you know, differently. You pay for the actual camera on the phone. And um, yeah, cause I mean, I done shot videos on iPhones. I was out there in New York City with my wife. Uh, I back. saw that. And the, the one, the one in Chinatown, yeah, the Chinatown, time? yeah, yeah. Icy. Twenty twenty two, and uh, I was, I was, I literally told myself, man, I'm not, I'm not, I need, I'm not buying no equipment. You feel me? I just icy. wanna, you know, fuck that, enjoy New York. And me and my ex, me and my wife. Me and my wife, we wound up going to uh, Chinatown, and I wound up shooting this um, video called Curse Eye Service. Y'all go check that out on the YouTube page as well. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. Um, so, um, how long you been rapping? I've been doing the music since about, like, um, 13 years old. Like, uh, it all started with a tragedy, like Batman, you know what I'm saying? Like, it all started with a tragedy. I had a brother, my only brother, my only sibling passed away at 11 years old, and I was um, 13, and then from there, like, you know, mama brought me to counseling and therapy and things like that, and they, they just told me to write everything down, right, how, you feel? how I feel. And I mean, that started, that started into just words, and then that words turned into poems, and then poems turned into raps, and you so, know, here we are, here we are today, you know. My cousin Kenny made me my first beat. And um, you know, that was that was what, sixteen years old, you know, we, we both was dealing with that trauma at that time. And then uh my my other brother, my my other brother from another mother, Frank Russo, you know, I say that because he Caucasian, you know. He actually introduced me to my first digital recording, like how to record digitally from the computer. You know, and um, like I said, from there, you just got to have that willpower to just want to do it yourself. I mean, like years in the game, I done turned around and I wouldn't say mastered, but I mean, like you done learn, you, you, you learn so many different hats because at the end of the day, you know, and I said this in another interview, you, you want to be so many different people in this business due to the fact that that's just one less person in the end that's going to sit down and let you down. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't want nobody that's gonna let you down. You want to be, and if anybody gonna let you down, it's gonna be yourself. You know, so I mean, yeah, that's why. I mean, but yeah, been doing the music since I was 13 years old, and sticking with it to this day. I'll be 40 next Friday. <laughs> Big man, happy, yeah. happy early one, man. Yeah, happy yeah, early man. one, man. Definitely, man. 40 next Friday. That's why I'm, you know next Friday I'm dropping a, a EP. I'm just a cameraman at rap, you know, like 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 my man Easy Money said, yeah. um, October 18th, we, we pushing the album, and we also got a uh, short movie that we pushing as well to go with the album that will be on my YouTube page as well on October the 18th. Uh, next week, I will be uh, airing a trailer 
for the movie for the movie what? so that you know people could be engaged and know that October the 18th man make sure y'all check out that short film same same title same title I'm just okay. a cameraman well that one is called the title of the movie is called I'm just a cameraman that wrapped the gift and the curse okay you know but um as far as the album go we got uh seven tracks on now okay you know what I'm saying um most of the album was produced by uh blurred out um okay. where he where you from he from New Orleans. Okay. Uh, he used to go by the name of Track Specialist back in the Gap, but now he go by Blurred All Productions. And okay. you know, you he definitely hear his uh, tag on a couple of the songs. Okay. But yeah, man. You have visuals for the uh, project? Uh, right now, I'm working on two visuals for the project. Gerald is the reason, and that's for, that's my brother, of course, Gerald. Um, and then I'm working on the Legacy uh, video. Legacy video, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything else. If anything else, it may be just short form content, you know, to kind of promote the album. Yeah, just to keep yeah. the gas on it. Yeah, keep the gas on it. Okay. Um, you said seven, the seven tracks, all produced by Blurred Up? Uh, no, not all of them. I would say maybe four out of the seven is produced by him four out of seven what about the other one the other two are produced by me actually okay so you can't yeah. we can't leave that out man yeah. you know you, yeah you, you just a cameraman that rap and do production yeah i do production as well okay. uh but i started doing my production back in 2020 during the covid season when everybody had nothing else to do but sit inside all day that's what you was putting the time yeah into. i was putting the time into learning how to make my own beats because i felt like that i got i it wasn't that I got tired of like looking for my sound. I knew what my sound was. I just had to get it out of my head and start creating it how I wanted it to sound. And then uh, from there, like I got into production. So uh, the two tracks that's produced by me is Gerald is the reason and uh, Profit. Okay. Yeah. And I already I already have uh, visuals out for Profit. That's actually on YouTube. I did a uh, cartoon video to that one. So you guys should go look that up, uh, Raphael Mecca Medina Prophet. That's out on YouTube right now. Um, but yeah, man. still leave one, because you say you produce two, so there's still leave one more left, because you say they got seven on there. Well, it's actually uh, six tracks. Okay, one of them is And one out. is uh, the intro, which is just a okay. skit. Okay. You know, um, I wound up doing a uh, interview. I'm not sure what the podcast or production. I think it was a CM CMGR or something. I, I, it's it's a, it's a podcast. Question City Radio. I'm not sure, but it was a podcast. I wound up doing a virtual podcast, and I mean, I wasn't actually on it. I submitted like a video to them, and that was years ago. And um, like uh, the guy just you know just more. That's actually where the title actually came from. Like, cause after he played my video on this podcast, you know, he had the people come in and do the reviews and he just said, you know, what I'm learned about Mr. Raphael Mecca Medina is that he just so happens to be a videographer and a photographer that just so happens to know how to rap, yeah. you know? So, I mean, that kind of like put it out there for me to be like, actually advertise the people like, you know, I'm just a cameraman at rap, you know, because I mean a lot, and, and the reason, the main reason is because a lot of people just know me as the cameraman, yeah, you yeah. know, they don't know that I actually get you down with the music as well, but I mean, I'm here to let y'all know the music came before the camera, don't get it twisted, I love the fact that y'all love the hip hop itinerary movement and how we pushing it, but I'm just here to let y'all know the music came before the video, but keep See. watching, we got more coming. See, I've been so I've been I've been seeing you do a lot of short form content lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, inspiration, motivation behind it. Man, you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna start it off and say uh, you know of course Toby and the Eggway he started the uh, caption content. I'm gonna just say that the caption content, mm -hmm. and then just watching like the the West Coast Lil Russell. You know, he really like took it off and then, you know, a lot of people just follow suit, which I mean, don't get it twisted. A lot of people watch with their eyes and most of the time they don't mind watching the artists. If you're a nice looking artist or you're just doing something that that's, that's entertaining that's for them. Yeah. But their main thing is, OK, I'm going to pay attention to these words at the bottom to see what this nigga actually Same. saying in yeah, his music, time. you know, and if it's worth actually going and say, well, you know what, let me check him out and follow him and give him a listen later on, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Facts. But I mean, yeah, I mean, the short form content, like, I mean, that's the way right now. And I mean, at the end of the day, I believe all independent artists should actually push short form content, push it, push it, push it. Because I mean, at the end of the day, we can't, we all can't afford videographers, you know, and that, you know, me just so happen, I'm like, I'm my own videographer. So, you know, mm-hmm. and I mean, even me being my own videographer, it'd be hard for me to actually like put together an actual cohesive, dope project for myself as far as on videography, because, you know, you, you, you're you only one man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Nah, you getting it done though. You know, man, man, so man, you talk. I watched you push, I watched you start pushing. Oh yeah. I might have dropped some singles. You didn't drop like three projects to my few singles. I still ain't start dropping it. So I'm watching your progress. I'm definitely motivated, inspired. You let me know I need to start. Man, I appreciate so keep that. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Like you on their neck right now. You feel oh, me? Man. Like real talk, man. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, and like I said, man, you know, I see your movement as well. The organized thinkers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the the allow me to reintroduce myself. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? Good. Like, you know, yeah. we we just it's it's a whole lot of positivity and we need that in today's time. Definitely. And yeah. it's happening. Uh, you know, it's we having our own platforms. You know what I'm saying? To actually build from and be a part of. So somebody have to tell our story. So if anybody gonna tell our story, we need to be creating our own narrative so the people can actually know the real and not what somebody made up from it. Right, mm-hmm. right. Or the interpretation of it. Right, right, right. Um, um, what's, what, what about projects they, that you dropped already that they need to be on if they sleeping on right now? Okay, yeah, man. If y'all want to check me out, man, just make sure y'all go type in Raphael Mecca Medina on every platform. Truth be told, like I said, just Raphael Mecca, M-E-C-C-A, Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. Um, me and OG Enoch, we uh, dropped the uh, five piece earlier this year. You can go check that project out. Um, I've been dropping a couple of singles. I got Better Days that drop. I got Little Insects. I got also got a video for that with my homie Doja the Don. Uh, as far as for next year go, we are already in the process of uh, working on that project, which that's going to be one of um, my first quarter projects, the Droopy Tape. Everything produced by the homie Droopy. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to stay as active as possible. Y'all trying to follow me on Instagram, y'all can go follow me at uh, Raphael, R-A-F-A-E-L, underscore Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. I got all my content on there. I mean, like, I'm a family man as well. I got kids, I got wife. But I mean, like, my thing is, as far as giving you me, I want to give you all of me. I don't want to give you just the music version of me. I want you to understand, like, you know, I do deal with, you know, just like everybody else, everyday life, you know? So when you get on my Instagram, be, you know, you may have to scroll and check certain things out, but just know, like, all the music, the production, the videos, things like that. Oh yeah, and that's another thing too. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube page, Raphael Mecca Medina, because I also have a series on that called, you know, the Vibe Sessions. Well, like, you know, I have certain people, shit, you may be on a You Know Vibe, you know the vibe Sessions one day. Well, like, Definitely. you know, people come to my studio and um, I do some recording engineering. We sitting there and we're recording and engineering. I got the camera set up so that way, you know, we can go ahead and capture this moment and then put it out as there for the as world it's as it's happening. So we can go ahead and put it out there for the world so they can see the process of our greatness. You know, and say, hey, look, man, these dudes ain't just come from nowhere. And you could go ahead and document that shit. And watch know? them make it in real time right there in front of you. Like, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, dope. sir. That's dope. Yes, sir. That's dope. Um, if they're looking to get you as a cameraman, you got to let them know how to lock, how to lock in with you photography. Cause like I said, follow me at Instagram. And I mean, if you want to contact me on anything, just hit me in the DM directly. If you want to uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook, Rafael Emil Medina, not Mecca, Emil. Just E-M-I-L-E, Emil. Just switch to Mecca for Emil and you'll find me up on um 
Facebook and just hit me up directly. I mean, like, I, I, I answer all DMs, I answer all primary and general, even hidden. You yeah, know, yeah, just the ones in the back you might, right, and I don't follow. Yeah. Thanks. So just hit me up directly, man. Okay. Um. So production wise, do you produce for other people, or do you just produce for yourself? I mean, I'm gonna be honest right now. I really just produce for myself. As far as production for other people, like if you hear something that if if we vibing in the studio and I play you a couple of beats and you hear something that you say, man, I can mess with, then you know we'll definitely work it out. Yeah. I mean, it won't be a problem. But I mean, like as far as you know. The vibe of production that I make, I make a lot of like my vibe, which is a lot of soul samples. That's what I was gonna ask you, what's your vibe? So they know yeah, what they're going to listen love, to when they tap in. I love sampling, I love just, you know, dope production, period. I mean, you know, you nothing like trappish or nothing like that, I'm be honest. And I'm not hating on it. I love it. I love all I love it all. But I mean as far as my vibe, as far as getting into production, I just love soul sampling. Okay. Um, anything else you want the people to know that they need to know? Nah, man, that's it, man. I just want y'all to make sure y'all download, stream. I'm just a cameraman at Rap. It will be dropping October 18th. That's next Friday uh, for my birthday, my 40th birthday. That's something special for me because I'm also putting out the short movie to go with it. So you guys go make sure y'all check it all out, everything. Oh, and also, we got another movie uh, called Brain Sick. It's going to be a horror film uh, shot by Snap and, Shoot, Snap and Shoot Photography, my nigga homie. My nigga, my homie, YT Wings. And uh, Lion, uh, I don't want to get it wrong. Lionheart? Uh, Lionheart. Yeah, my girl Sadell, she uh she's also a part of it. We got a lot of people that's gonna be a part of the whole thing. That should be dropping as well sometime in the end of October, right before uh, Halloween. It's a horror movie. But like I said, we just staying active. And like I said, if y'all wanna check out even more things, just follow me at R A F A E L underscore M E D I N A on Instagram. And on Facebook, Raphael, email Medina. On anything else, like music-wise, videos, YouTube, Raphael, Mecca, Medina. R-A-F-A-E-L, Mecca, M-E-C-C-A, Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. And once again, man, it's Hip Hop's itinerary, Medina Moments, and what, this organized thinkers? Definitely coming you know, from where I'm from, organized from thinker I'm production. From, yes, sir. Yeah. Coming from where I'm from, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, be looking for the freestyle. We're going to get him to spit something for us. We may tag it on the end of this, or you may catch it separate, but make sure y'all catch it, man. It's been another episode of Coming From Where I'm From.